Let's differentiate three simple functions using the chain rule. We'll take the derivative of sine of 2x, sine of x squared, and sine squared of x. These are all similar but slightly different chain rule examples. Give them a try yourself before watching the rest of the lesson. Let's begin with the derivative of sine of 2x. In this case, the outside function is sine and the inside function is 2x. So, we need to start with the derivative of the outside function, the derivative of sine, which is cosine, but leave the inside function unchanged, so just cosine of 2x. Then we just need to multiply by g prime, that's the derivative of the inside function. In this case, the derivative of the inside function is 2. So the derivative of sine of 2x is 2 cosine of 2x. Next, the derivative of sine of x squared. Very similar example. In this case, the outside function is sine and the inside function is x squared. By the chain rule, we begin with the derivative of the outside function, so the derivative of sine, which is cosine, but leave the inside function unchanged, so cosine of x squared. Then just multiply by g prime, the derivative of the inside function. The derivative of the inside function is just 2x. That's the derivative of x squared. That's just power rule. So that's our answer. Finally, the derivative of sine squared of x. In this case, the outside function is not sine. The outside function is a thing squared. In this case, it's sine being squared. So we have to begin with the derivative of a thing squared. When you take the derivative of x squared, for example, you get 2x. When you take the derivative of sine squared, you get 2 sine. However, we then need to multiply by the derivative of the inside function. In this case, the inside function is sine, so its derivative is cosine. And so our answer is 2 sine times cosine. If you remember some trig identities, you might recall that this is actually equal to sine of 2x. That's called a double angle identity, and we might prefer to write the derivative like that. Let's do one more bonus example. We'll take the derivative of sine squared of ln x. So in this case, we'll have to apply the chain rule twice. Again, the outside function is a thing squared. So we start with the derivative of that. The derivative of a thing squared is just 2 times the thing. So 2 times sine of ln x, because sine of ln x is the thing that was being squared. Now the next layer of this composite function is sine. So we then have to multiply by the derivative of that inside function. So multiply by the derivative of sine, which is cosine. We want to remember to leave the inside function unchanged. And because indeed there is an inside function, we again must apply the chain rule and multiply by the derivative of the inside function. The derivative of ln x is just 1 over x, and that is how we take the derivative of sine squared of ln x. It's really just going layer by layer. We take the derivative of a thing squared, then we take that derivative of sine, and then we take the derivative of that ln x. So that's just a few examples of the chain rule with some simple sine functions. Let me know in the comments if you've got any questions.